Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Thanks guys, I'm really surprised you all are really enjoying the K-Beauty, J-Beauty, Asian Beauty product reviews. And so today, I know some of you have asked and you've been patiently waiting, thanks for waiting. This is Canmake's Mermaid Skin Gel UV. This is type one that is considered the clear version. Then there's the white version that's number two. And I'm not gonna review that in this video. In another video, I'll compare the two. But I just wanna talk about this one uh, first. It is Japanese branded. So if you look at the back, it's all kanji, katakana here on the back. But I'll show you up above the ingredients in this, including the UV filters, which is very important. This isn't very liquidy, but usually for liquidy sunscreens, I say to shake it before applying it. Shake it just in case to distribute the UV filters throughout. This one isn't water resistant and it's also quite small. As you can see here, the size is 40 grams. So this, this isn't a lot of sunscreen. They wanted to make it portable, which it is. It's great to keep in your pocket for reapplication, but if you use the appropriate amount, it's not you're gonna burn through this quite quickly. I've been talking about for weeks now that I have come to really appreciate Japanese sunscreen because I feel like it's really un it really understands my skin. I have an oily T-zone, dry cheeks, and I feel like this really does help tone down the oiliness, but also the cheeks, it kind of gives it a nice hydrated look to it, or I say it's dewy. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that, that look, and I think dewy and hydrated skin is in. You know, before it was more mattifying. Now I think people want that glassy, kind of dewy look now. So can make this mermaid uh, skin gel. I, I had no idea what this was before social media. Since starting social media, I've been able to jump into the world of Asian beauty products. And when you guys were recommending a mermaid sunscreen, I was like, what the heck is that? But now I totally get why this is so popular because just a spoiler alert, I'm really impressed by this sunscreen. Okay, so you can tell that this is the clear version because it has the number one on the back. Voila. Everything else, very difficult to read, but at least it's fairly well distinguished with this tiny size one font number zero one there. So that's how you know this is the clear version. We're gonna put a half, we're gonna put a one finger length amount on my face sorry for triggering you all with a sound of me applying uh creams on my face so i'm gonna mute this part of the video okay how did i do so just putting it on you just know that this is not going to leave you a white cast uh, finish. This has such a lightweight texture. It just melts and absorbs right into your skin instantly. I, and after a shave in the morning and I apply this over my skin, I don't get any sting from that. I don't get any sting over my eyelids. This isn't water resistant. So if you're going to do any water play or go for a run or exercise and get sweaty, this isn't the sunscreen for you. If you have oily skin, I'd say definitely be careful. Uh, you might not like the finish of this, but if you have combination skin, dry skin, it definitely leaves you a hydrated look here on the face and I just like this as a nice go-to sunscreen when I go to the office go for a walk casual walk outside this is SPF 50 plus PA 4 plus so you're getting good UVB coverage that's the SPF and the PA 4 plus is your UVA coverage which will um, you know prevent the deeper penetrating wavelengths like UVA from penetrating your collagen and disrupting that and um, initiating the collagenases to chew up your collagen and giving you photo aged skin. So not only will you get brown spots, red spots, white spots from the sun, but UVA can also mess with your collagen in the second layer of skin called the dermis and give you saggy, wrinkled skin. You lose elastic fibers with sun damage. So you wanna have that nice youthful bounce. The PA4 Plus tells you that you are getting coverage, but you gotta reapply, right? Apply it once and then going outside, you're gonna get um, your sunscreen uh, deactivated by the sun, sweat and such. So you want to reapply every two hours for sure. Okay, so you can get that maximum coverage. Of course, sunscreens are not perfect. Uh, SPF 50 plus will not block 100% of UVB radiation. 
it will filter out 90, 98% of UVB uh, rays if used appropriately, if you shake your bottles up well, if you're applying enough sunscreen. Applying enough is huge. And also now we're saying to layer your sunscreen, apply a second layer over it just to ensure that you're really getting the crevices covered because your skin is not just a smooth surface. It's, there's uh, there's definitely valleys to it. And so you wanna get into those valleys as much as possible. And so that's where the uh, Biore has really tried to look at their micro defense line. They've really tried to have their sunscreen get into those valleys really well at a microscopic level. Uh, just keep that in mind, that application, the way you apply your sunscreen is really important. Okay, so I'm gonna give this sunscreen a thumbs up, an eight out of 10 Dr. Sugai score or a four uh, to four and a half out of five shakas for this. I'm gonna say this is a solid sunscreen, great for dry to combination skin. It's affordable, but I wish, my biggest uh, wish would be that I wish there was more in it because I'm gonna go through this bottle so quickly. I did a TikTok video on this um, and also a comparison TikTok between this and the number two. And I just went through it so quickly and I just, I just want more. Uh, but the brand did intend for it to be portable so you can keep it in your pocket. It's there for reapplication purposes. So I, I, I can't ding it too, much, too many points for that. Um, it is, it does not leave a white cast, which is huge, but it is not purely mineral. It also has chemical ingredients. So, you know, chemical ingredients do make it um, have a more of a lightweight texture to it uh, versus titanium dioxide, zinc oxide alone will give you a thicker texture that's more prone to leaving you with a white cast finish. So it's not purely mineral, but it mixes these two uh, worlds together really well. So it's a solid sunscreen. Definitely check it out. Please leave comments down below if you've tried it. If you have any other Asian beauty or non-Asian beauty products you want me to review next, please hit the like button. Please share it with your friends who are into Japanese sunscreens. And also thanks for subscribing to the channel, guys. Really quickly, uh, the other month was API Heritage Month and I just wanted to show you TikTok made this coffee table book in celebration of that. You might see some familiar faces, these creators, um, these Asian creators. Uh, they put them all in a book, their top 150 creators, and I was lucky enough to be a part of it at Dr. SPF on TikTok. Thanks for featuring me in this book here. So thank you. This is a huge honor to be a part of this. There's Bella Porch, there's your Korean skin dad, all these great big names here. So um, thank you for this book. I will keep talking about Asian beauty products and um, let's keep having fun, guys. Have a good day. Peace. Hey guys, it's API month and I want to focus on J-Beauty and K-Beauty products. You guys asked for me to review this, the Mermaid Skin Gel UV. So I'll be reviewing the clear version. You can tell this is the clear version because it has a number one on the back of the tube and on the box. This has three chemical UV filters plus zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. $10 for this 40 gram tube, which is about 1.4 fluid ounces. I was impressed with this sunscreen the moment I put it on. It doesn't have that alcohol smell like Biore does. Kind of gives my skin a dewy look. I love the texture. No white cast, it melts in great. Critiques would be, I wish this was a bigger tube because I want more, but they want it to be a portable sunscreen, which it is. I love the dewy look for my combo skin, but if you have oily skin, maybe not for you. I give this a huge thumbs up.